What's going on, guys? Oh, how are you, how are you guys doing? I am pretty tired. Ah, uh, I think I'm getting a cold because I shared a drink from this one kid at school. It was actually my drink of water, and he was like, "Hey, dude, can I have some water?" And, um, and I said, "Yeah, sure." You can have some of my water, why not? And I should have just thrown the water away. But I think he got me sick. And I'm never going to share my drinks or fluids ever again with anybody. Okay, so anyway. Getting to the interesting stuff here. Let me... I'm going to do a tag video. From Southwest Cub, I think. Originally it was from. Um, okay, so what was my favorite TV show as a child? Well, I, like Brad said, I did like Rugrats growing up. That was, that was the shit. Even though, you know what? I hate, I hated Tommy because I hate that name. That name is just, like, I haven't been called that since I was 12. Um... Uh, okay, well, I do like the name Tommy, but certain people have to call me that. And I like when certain people call me that. Yeah, if you guys get what I'm saying. Okay, so... Uh, next question. No, well, I, you know what? For TV shows, I like Power Rangers. They were all like, choo choo choo, Power Ranger, go! Chah. I like to be the right guy, because the right guy is cool and he kicks ass. Um... Who was my childhood hero? Oh, well, I think that's a hard one because I don't know if I've ever had a childhood hero. Um, I was more of myself. I guess you could say, my, uh, not Michael Jackson. Wow, I was thinking of Michael. Michael Jordan. Yeah, definitely not Michael Jackson. Michael Jordan. He was. I used to like basketball when I was little, and I remember. I was at that age where, you know, they started going championship games, like 98 and 97, 98, somewhere around there. I just remember he was just so good. He was just amazing. So I guess he's kind of my hero, I guess. Yeah, it, it depends on your definition of hero, but... Okay, what was your, what was my favorite Xmas gift? What was my favorite Christmas gift? Um... I would have to say that my favorite Christmas gift was from my parents when I was living at my old house. They gave us each, me and my two younger sisters, a hamster. And in separate cages, they had like, you know that cool ass um, hamster cage? They had the, you know, the wheel that spins and it had like two stories. It was sick. Like it was a mansion for hamsters. They would go up this tunnel into the second part of their lair, and there was like stuff to do in the second part, and it was just really cool. And by the way, my hamster lived the longest. I think it was only like a year and a half, but my other sister's hamster died <laughs> because, um, well, one of my sisters left her hamster out when my dad was painting, and it just died. And then I think my I think my other sister's hamster just ran away or something. We couldn't find it in the house. Scoots. Oh, cooties. That's a boy. Um, okay. What was my first car? Ooh, sorry. Hey. Sorry. I think my dog has something wrong with his ears because I just petting it and it he just barked. I'm sorry. Um, what was my favorite What was my first car? was a 98 well it is because i'm still driving it and i only got it three months ago 98 ford mustang uh it's a five speed five speed manual yep it's cool i like it I like it a lot um yeah and see and if i was good at doing this like editing videos i could show you guys pictures but i'm too lazy to figure out how to do that so who was my favorite teacher? My favorite teacher was Mr. Rogers. He was my freshman English teacher. <sighs> okay, number one, it's because he was very hot. Like, 
extremely, extremely sexy. Um, and number two, he was just, he was such a nice guy. Um, I remember the first day of English class. Uh, I forget what he was saying exactly, but he picked me out of everyone else in the class and to do something. I, I forget what it is, but I was just like, wow, why did he pick me? And I felt all special and stuff. But no, he was a good teacher. I, I, I loved him. I didn't love him, but you know, I, I liked him as a teacher. Okay. What was my first pet? My first pet was a dog named Pee Wee. He was a uh, miniature dachshund, uh, a wiener dog, and he was freaking really cool. I miss Pee Wee. He's buried in my old house backyard. But I got Scooter now. Scooter, come here. Scooter, Scooter, Scooter. Hey, boy. And Scooter's a good dog. He just doesn't like people. Okay. Um, what was my first job? My first job was when I was 15, 14 or 15 years old. I was the paper boy. And that would suck in the winter. That was horrible in the winter. But, um... Yeah, I did that. You don't make shit as a paper boy. I think I made like fifty dollars a month, and I was like, woohoo! Oh, <laughs> uh, at that time, fifty dollars was a lot, though. Um, what was my favorite family vacation? Ooh, most definitely going to Disney World. Or yeah, Disney World, the one in Florida. Man, I, I think. You know, I'm mature in a lot of ways, but when it comes to Disney World, I just act like a kid. Like, I would love to go back there sometime, even as an adult. You know, maybe someday if I do adopt kids, you know, I'll definitely take them to Disney World, so. Who was my first kiss? Well, technically, my first kiss was with a girl named Ashley, I think, in like first grade. That really wasn't a true kiss, you know. Really couldn't say that. It was like a little pack. It was through like, you know those little cubby holes? We, okay, so we had like a whole row of cubby holes, right? Because this could have even been in kindergarten, I don't remember. It was, I was really young. And we were looking at each other through the little cubby holes and all of a sudden like we just went in through the little pack. And ever since then, I've been an amazing kisser. You can ask any of my previous acts and they'll tell you that I'm an amazing kisser, by the way. And who was my first real kiss? That was with a guy named Mark. And he... Uh, we only went on a couple dates, but I he was the first guy that I've ever made out with. Um, I guess you could say first legitimate kiss with him. Wasn't anything special. Um, I don't know, he, after our first date, he told me that he loved me, and I was just not ready for that. Plus, he was married and had kids, so it was just weird. Okay, um, last one is number 10. What's something your YouTube people do not know about me? Well, I think I can show you guys one thing. I'm secretly in love with Captain Crunch. Oh, oh, Captain Crunch, oh, I love you, Captain.